government's latest health care mandate, easing face mask use in public and open spaces, is a hard sell to many Filipinos who'd rather feel safe than sorry in getting virally infected or catching the cold or flu. Many public health experts hail this virtue of preparedness, learned the hard way, even as government wraps up efforts to drive up booster numbers. Our Karen Villanda fills us in with more. A few days after the government allowed the optional wearing of face masks in open spaces and uncrowded areas, many Filipinos are still wearing face masks. Kailangan talaga kaya sabihin tanggal eh, may nang may nag-iingat. Kamura-mura ng mask, mas mahal yung gamot pagka, pagka nagkasakit ka. For safety lang din po, para sure, kasi hindi pa naman po uh, na-announce na talagang pwede na po talaga. Kasi nakasanayan na rin namin eh na magpipismas eh kahit sinasabi ng gobyerno na ano hindi na pero mahirap din na mabi, masisisi pag halimbawa may mga dumarating. The Okta Research Team said that even with the change in the face mask policy, many Filipinos still chose to wear protection. A recent Okta survey showed that 30% of Filipinos will still wear face masks even after six months that the government declared that COVID-19 is under control in the Philippines. 28% responded that they would wear a face mask for one year after the pandemic is controlled, while 16% said they would wear protection for two years. And this is a large number according to Professor Ranjit Rai of Okta Research Team. And following the relaxation of wearing face masks, Okta Research sees only a minimal effect on the case of COVID-19 in the country, especially if the vaccination of booster shots can be improved. At some point, we need to acknowledge that some of our Kababayans have chosen not to be vaccinated or boosted. When that happens, we have to learn, they have to learn to live with the consequences of their choice. We have to return to the complete old normal. Everything disappears, like in many countries in the world. We live with COVID-19. And those who choose not to be vaccinated and boosted, they will be infected with milder BA.5. However, for an expert, one should not be complacent because the face mask still provides 70 to 80 percent protection from airborne diseases and droplets infections. Misal, asalubong nyo, infected pala, di ba? Biglang, di ba, nakabangga nyo, biglang umubos sa harapan nyo, kaya nyo pa bang anuhin yun? Pigilan nyo, wala na. O kaya umubos sa inyo kahit 2 or 3 meters ano, away from you. Pero yung pong spread nung ano niyan, ano yun, ganun kabilis yun. Maaring malanghap nyo na agad kung wala kayong face mask. Karen Villanda for The Nation.